Hi, it's Dan Lindstedt, and recently I came across something that Leonardo da Vinci had said over 500 years ago. Once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skywards. For there you have been, and there you will long to return. Of course, someone who has never experienced flight will never seem to understand the person who has or why they want to return. This is also true of life experiences as well. Think of people sitting on a frozen lake in a mini tent in sub-zero temperatures. They're having the time of their life trying to catch some fish. You may actually relate to it, and it might seem natural, or it can seem weird. One thing I know for sure is that exhilarating feeling you get when you push the button to send a system to production, and everything works on the first shot. It's like you just won the lottery. Even though I have experienced it many, many times, you will understand why I cannot get enough of it, which is why I keep going back to build more and more solutions. The secret weapon that I've been using has undoubtedly been the Data Vault architecture and methodology. It has worked like gangbusters for me and many, many, many of my students and my clients. The Data Vault is the easiest, the cheapest, and yes, even the fastest way to build business intelligence solutions that will last longer than anything else you've ever experienced. And the Data Vault is proven to be absolutely flexible and scalable. And yes, it's even proven itself as a productivity enhancing machine. In this free video series, I'm going to show you why and what it means to your career and the solutions you implement. I'm not only going to show you how some of the smartest people I know are crushing it with simple, repeatable, easy to do data modeling techniques and patterns, you'll also hear about a few newbies. And these are people who are not mega experienced, who are breaking all of the success records in the industry today by using the data vault. And more importantly, I'm going to show you how you can learn these simple techniques really quickly. And you don't need to learn any new ETL tools or even start from scratch. In fact, you probably already have the skills you need to implement a successful solution using the Data Vault model and methodology today with just a missing piece of the puzzle that I will give you as part of this free video series. But let's back up a minute. See, a couple of months ago, I took some time off and I started a new venture. So I've had a few months to reflect on the last 20 years of my career and I have had a lot to look back on. In 20 years, I've personally implemented hundreds of solutions and have been behind the scenes of perhaps thousands of successful business intelligence implementations in all of the world with all kinds of different industries. I'm talking about financial institutions, health and insurance, government and crime fighting, power and energy, high tech vendors and a whole lot more. But here's the bottom line I keep coming back to. No matter how simple or complex the requirements were, Projects using the Data Vault always had an unusually higher success rate than any other method that I've followed. In industry after industry, project after project, the Data Vault did three things really, really well. It helped me design flexible solutions, it helped me design infinitely scalable solutions, and it helped the teams I worked with be way more productive. Of course, if you could only do three things really well on your projects, those might be at the top of your list. So let's start off by talking about flexibility, about how the Data Vault is more flexible than any other solution. But first, let me ask you one thing. You're a business intelligence consultant, right? You want to help build long-term solutions so that you can help your clients, not be worried about breaking production systems, spend less hours at work, spend more time with your family, and do lots of fun stuff. And you've seen the list of companies using the Data Vault. Of course, when a solution shaves 88% off the budget, 83% off the time and implemented successfully by using only 13% of the resources of the closest bid. It is something that you got to pay attention to. So here are just some examples that I worked up close and personal with the teams implementing their solutions. Talisman Energy needed to merge three systems, build an EDW that would be flexible enough to build out later without any changes, five star schemas and three reports. Not a complicated scenario, but with the closest competing bid at 250k, 15 people in three months, we went and did our magic. Using the Data Vault, we used only two people and were able to generate, yes, I said generate, 90% of the ETL code, 100% of the staging data model, 75% of the finished data warehouse model as a Data Vault, and 75% of the star schema data model. Guess what? We did it in two weeks and our cost was only 30K. Probably an amazing productivity example. But what's more amazing is how they could easily scale and extend the system without changing a bit of what was implemented because it was designed to do that. The Data Vault transforms any business intelligence project into a success. I know you probably know this, but for whatever reason, you've only played around with it or read about it, or maybe you've never even heard of it at all. Maybe you think it's a fad or it's new, and you're going to wait until more testing has been done and there are more case studies for you to look at. Let me save you the trouble. 
Let's look at someone who's already tested it and figured it out big time. I'm sure you've heard of JP Morgan Chase. It's one of the four biggest banks in the US and has been known for advanced technology implementations. Basically, they have a lot of very, very smart people working for them. They used the data vault to merge three companies in 90 days. All the systems and all of the data. That's no mean feat for any financial institution and kudos to them. It shows you how flexible the data vault model can be. Now let's talk about someone who tests the heck out of everything. A little organization you may have heard of by the name of the Department of Defense. They used the data vault to build their data warehouse system. As many as four years ago, they scaled their data vault to three petabytes. And as far as I know, it's still growing today. At that volume of data, it's not something that can afford to be redesigned or even shut down and re-architected, and they know it. JP Morgan and the DoD can afford to build any kind of solution they want. Money is not an object for them, but they chose the data vault for its scalability, flexibility, and productivity elements. Now let me ask you another question. If organizations like JP Morgan Chase and the DoD are using the data vault for their core architecture, shouldn't you at least know about it? You owe it to yourself to pick the best possible solution at any given time for your projects. And you owe it to your customers to provide them the best possible design money can buy, right? And if being nervous about not having the knowledge or the know-how of the data vault is stopping you, maybe you should think about the data vault again because it isn't stopping old JP or Uncle Sam. Now let's talk about scalability and productivity. But before I talk about how scalable the data vault can be and why, let me tell you that our industry actually has a problem and it's the root of the high rate of failure of business intelligence projects. You see, most people don't want to open their minds to understand new solutions because they're afraid of them. What I'm about to tell you is far more important than anything you've ever read in any BI book or white paper or even any course you've ever taken. So here's the thing. Most people avoid using the data vault because A, they've never heard of it, B, they're afraid of it, or C, they think incorrectly that learning something new will take too much time or cost way too much. Trust me, all of those assumptions are dead wrong. Actually, you don't have to trust me. I'm going to prove it to you in this video series. But here's the really good news. Because of those incorrect assumptions, there's a huge opportunity for you. Because for the select few who have been using the data vault in their projects are positively enjoying more successful implementations and are sleeping better at night. So now, let's take a real life example. Say you have an existing data warehouse with products and salespeople and stock and it's working great. Well, that's just awesome. Now say shortly after the implementation, you acquire a new company that's services based. How do you add the newly acquired data, systems, and processes to your existing data warehouse without impacting anything that you've already built? This is where the data vault model really shines. The key component that enables this is something called a link. The next thing is scaling. The ability to scale your hardware and processes without changing your design is extremely important. There's only so much hardware you can throw at a solution before it breaks, unless you make the pieces granular enough to scale infinitesimally. What this means is you can run different pieces on completely different hardware and processors, like with MPP-based architectures. The ability to scale the hardware, software, and computing power of a hub-and-spoke design gives you tremendous capabilities. Of course, I did touch on productivity earlier as well, but let me ask you this, especially if you spent any time on a very large fact and dimension-like structure. Have you ever had to load a ton of data into a SCD Type 2 only to find out there's corrupted data and then try to figure out what caused it? Or how about an SCD Type 2 that's scheduled to load daily and suddenly starts getting its data at a much higher frequency? like many times a day or a few times a second because the upstream process has changed. But since you're only loading it daily, don't you miss capturing critical changes? These things happen more often than not. The solution has been the BI team telling the business they can't make changes to the business process without first informing the team and getting them ready for it. Now, while this still is considered a best practice, is it really truly a best practice? Should the technology team dictate how business should be done? The data vault methodology completely eliminates this issue and makes you a partner in the eyes of your business users. They will think you're a hero, but that's another story. The data vault model is the only business intelligence model that can go from a batch to real time mode with no model changes at all. Think real time in data warehouses is a fad? What if the information could save someone's life, like crime fighting or medical environments? So one of the core distinctions of the data vault from any other method is, 100% of the data within scope, 100% of the time. It's a true reflection of the state of the source at a point in time. 
in an extremely flexible structure. No business rules are applied upstream in the data warehouse, and you'll understand why very, very soon. For now, I encourage you to download Chapter 1 of the book right below this video and read it to understand some of the fundamentals that we'll build on. Chapter 1 covers some basic terminology and notations, which will help you read the rest of the book and some advanced concepts such as MPP math and real-time loading. I'm off to create the next video in the series for you, where I will be explaining each component in more detail. In the meantime, please feel free to comment and ask questions below. I'm monitoring these and will personally be answering all of your questions. Thank you.